Vlogmas day number 13. All right, so this morning we are going to drain the water out of our fuel filter right here. Now with the condition of fuel in the United States right now, there's a lot of water in a diesel. More than usual. Diesel's pretty dirty to start with, but it's not that hard to do. But I want to show you some of the, the codes that the tractor throws. I, I, and I know that it's going to do it because last night it was doing it. And I turned it off just so we could show you this video. So let me get a key and we're going to go do it. Get this bad boy warmed up. Let's go ahead and stick my key in. Put this down so I can see good. It looks like we are out of gas. So we're gonna fill it up. second my thought was that i get in here turn it on and throw a code last night it was showing that the the water bowl on the diesel filter was filled up and it was throwing a code for it and it was telling me to shut off so i don't know if it just drained out or what it did but i'm i'm really expecting it to pop on here a second i want to show you that and we'll fill the tractor up real quick up our diesel tank. Morning light has come on for our tractor. It says stop immediately, and I very much caution you to do so. It's not a caution light, it's a stop light. It's the one in the middle right there. Let's turn this back on. All right, now we're, we have not turned the tractor on, we just turned the key over. Let's look at this thing. About 30 seconds in, there you go. All right, now, why is it doing that? What does it mean? Right here, I think you hold this for three or five seconds and it'll start flashing codes for us. Okay, here we go. All right, that's basically a cycle through there. 
Do I know what every one of those means? No, I don't. But I do know that one of them is water because it's come up before. I asked the, the shop technician, he said, you can just Google it. Just, just like everything else, you can just Google it and you can find those codes. Um, probably a good idea if you've got you a, a service manual like I've got in here. If you'll do, or an owner's manual, it's not a service manual. If you'll just, whenever you have those codes come up, write them down on the inside if it's common stuff and you can go and check it. Now, I'm gonna show you what to do to get that water out of the fuel filter. Let's go look at it. It is relatively easy to get these fuel filters off of this 5100E. I don't know about all the other series, but this one's right here. And with a little bit of grunting, and turn in the correct way, you can usually just get it right off. When I say fuel filter, I don't mean the whole deal. Don't take that off. Take the, the bowl at the bottom off. And that'd be righty tighty, so what is lefty loosey? The hardest part is gonna be getting in here with the camera. Oh, 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 look here at the bottom. I forgot about this part. Before you do anything, you gotta get in here and take this sensor off. Tighten that back up. I don't know if I can get it without a glove or with a glove, but there's a little button on the back. Feels like I can. There's a little button on this. Nope, not take my glove off. There's a button on the back of that, and before they serviced it, I could see it to press it, but now I'm feeling so it makes it a little bit more difficult. I wonder if I could lay this camera right here for you. All right, there's the little red button right there. You click it down, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this back on just so it don't leak all over me. But you click that little button down, and then pull it out right there. You see that? Now, I'm gonna put my gloves back on so whenever I spill this diesel water on me, I can take my gloves off and be less dieseled. Now it takes some grasping, but you can grab this and just twist it off. There's gonna be diesel leak out, so whatever you do, it'll get on you. It don't matter really. All right. Now here's this part. See this? You can probably take this this bottom off somehow, but look what else you can do. That's just water, so you should be pretty good. Now this diesel over here, I accidentally dropped that without thinking. So probably, definitely need to get you a bucket or something to put under there. But in a pinch, you can do what I just did. 
and then just fiddle with it and you can get it back on there. You want to get it straight so to get a good seal and all that kind of business. fiddle with it and you can get it back on here let's see if I it's the exact opposite to get it back on and I suggest getting it really tight put your clip back in make sure and move your little red piece down there test it pull it back out get staying so far i've not lost prime on this let's see if i've done it this time see we're not even gonna turn it on we're just gonna let it check itself for a second or 30 seconds, really. And that's how you empty the water out of the fuel filter on a John Deere 5100E.